as you can see. I've done the inside of the door, and I've done most of these inside panels. I've even got an inside, inside here and up, up there. I just have that section there left to do. And that would be the majority of it done. I'm gonna do the roof, but I'm gonna just put the put the insulation in the crevices in here and then board it back up and do the roof on a separate occasion when I get a bit of time. Other than that, it's looking looking pretty good. This material is super good to work with. I've got two rolls of this stuff, it was super cheap, and it's managed to do the size, the size of the van and pretty much the the whole inside. Um, I'm in two minds of doing the floor. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it section by section because I don't have because it, it takes time, so I'm not going to uh, rush it too quickly. But other than that, it's coming along quite nicely. And it's going all right. insulation in between the crevices stuck some here obviously over the silver foil i'm going to fill in these gaps and fill in all of all of this but i don't know if i made a video before i'm just going through and sticking these panels i've got the i've got the foil and then over it i've got the insulation and now i'm just putting these on uh over the lower ones just so all of that bottom bit is insulated before i start sticking these on because I'm I'm doing this. I'm still using the van, I don't, so I'm doing this when I've got a little bit of spare time between work and, and, and life and stuff. And this keeps falling off, so the insulation of that one f fell off. So I want to secure all of this and then insulate this and then stick the panel on and do each bit at a time. Especially that my friend's borrowing the van and he needs to use it, so it's, it's being done slowly, but. Yeah, not too, not too bad, and hopefully that should protect or give enough insula insulation of a winter to make it, you know, if I'm sleeping in here while I'm in the Lake District or in Wales, warm enough that I don't freeze. But more importantly, I want to do the ceiling to give it a little bit of sound insulation because I've slept in here before when it's been raining, and it's like someone's playing a drum kit. Or one of those old school rain sound makers. Um, but once I insulate all of this, I think we'll do the roof separately. I'll we'll come up with a plan then. I'm trying to do this on the cheap as well. I can buy roof panels for the roof online, but it costs over a hundred pounds, and it might be just worth me buying some plywood for wicks and getting them to cut little squares in about forty quid, and I can just drill it into this myself this is kind of what i'm aiming for i've got this underneath here and i'm doing that just before i stick a panel on so that's all kind of done when i leave this how this is and a box a box goes around this i'm just gonna have to peel this off which i probably should have done before before i've stuck it on but screw it i'll go around and peel it off hopefully my plan is today to finish the, this side the two side panels there and screw back on the floor panels so my friend can use a van tomorrow and then the roof That's done. Just that one left, and then we can do the ceiling. Hopefully, I can get it done because in one week we are using this. So, I'll try to get this sorted next weekend. So, I've just started insulating the ceiling. I've been doing this now for a couple of weeks in and out. Well, in my spare time, it is now. What's the date? So it's the 2nd of, 2nd of November, 
not this coming weekend, but next weekend, I want to take Lake District on and this Lake Top. I've spent the morning cutting down the ply pieces that I'm going to put on the roof, and I'm just going through adding insulation, and then I'm going to stick on some uh, insulation on top of the, the foil, and then stick it out on top of the roof. I go from there. That's all the insulation uh, foil complete. And now I'm just going to, before I put the insulation on, I'm just gonna try to get the boards up so they all fit. Cause I still have to cut them round these light sockets here. And I still need to connect some wood to drill them into, but yeah, so far so good. So I started getting the ceiling up, I've got insulation underneath it, I'm just putting them up roughly and I'm going to screw them and fix them properly but so far it's looking so good, uh, so far so good, not so far so looking so good, it is looking so good but um, yeah I mean if I get inside oh, I think I've been, I've been working on this now for it's been about three four weeks in and out when I can, uh, when I've got some time. I'm going to the Lake District this weekend. So I want this finished. So the day is miserable. It's been raining all day. <clears throat> I haven't got like a wireless drill. So I need to feed a, an electric cable, but it stopped raining. So I'm gonna crack on and I've just got a few pieces to stick up and I also just have to cut the wood around these uh these lights i'm not too fuss about it being the prettiest of things um but hopefully we should be done in a couple of hours and i am done the ceiling is done i just have to add a few screws in there take off this i'll clean the van tomorrow the well, van is now insulated and yeah next time i do anything video related i will be staying and sleeping in the van so now we've got a bit of insulation and a bit of soundproofing and it's just a little bit a little bit nicer peace god that took ages ages i don't have a workbench or anything so or really any tools so Rustic it may be, but Fanny the Tranny is looking sexy.